there's guys out there that will do whatever it takes to get you, like to court you. And there's guys who really don't want you, but, you know, they like the hooking up part. They like things like that. So they'll do the bare minimum to keep you around. And some girls, I don't know why, get attracted to that. Like, get attracted to guys who do the bare minimum. <laughs> he just gave away the game there. He just said there are girls out there that are falling for guys that give the bare minimum and he can't figure it out. And I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper later on. But here's the thing, guy, is that... And it's going to surprise you that the reason women like guys that give the bare minimum is because it makes them feel less pressured to have to give more than they're ready to give. Guys think if I just give all in the beginning, then she's going to know that I like her and then she's going to be able to match me. Well, a woman sees that early on and thinks he's already trying to pressure me into a relationship. Guys that are giving the bare minimum aren't applying pressure to the woman for this to have to be a thing. He's basically saying, hey, Let's hang out and see what's what. That is low-level stakes, which means now a woman's not trying to bet the house on this date has to work out, or if this works out, I have to be his girlfriend. Like, no, it's a simple inquiry into getting to know each other. And believe it or not, guys, women actually like less pressure in the beginning to feel like they have to choose you. But you know what's going to make them feel like they have to choose you is when you're doing all the things this guy said early on, which let's go back again. Let's go see that again. That will do whatever it takes. That. I'm, and we fall for this because of movies and music. You know, oh, I'll do whatever it takes because I need you so much. You're the world's man. I'm going to do all these things. That comes across as a guy that doesn't get any from anybody, which means, what does, it, what does that mean to a woman? He's chasing me really, really hard. It must be no other women want him. Why don't they want him? I'm now suspicious of that. And also this feels like a lot and I'm out. Versus the guys that are doing the bare minimum, they've learned. When I give the bare minimum effort, this is, this is saying to her, you know what? I think you're great. And I want to get to know you, but I'm not going to just give you all my cards yet. Like, I don't know you. You're a stranger right now. Like, you're a cool, good-looking stranger, but I don't know about your family life. I don't know about your traumas. I don't know about your history. I don't know if you got other dudes in the background that you're still banging. Like, I need time to fill this out. So I'm going to give you a little bit of effort right now. And then as you prove yourself to me, I'll give you a bit more. And most women are like, you know what? Subconsciously, you know what? That's reasonable. You know what? I want to actually now earn his trust. And women like that. Like, women will tell you otherwise, but women I found like to have to prove themselves to you versus you give it all to them. Again, like I said earlier, I've done the thing of giving the most in the beginning, rarely has it ever worked out. So you have to know that it's okay to give bare minimum. And then as you see that she's proving herself, you can give a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And women will typically be cool with that. Again, if they're, they got the good head on their shoulders, right? So we're going to this last video because this is really going to solidify for you guys what things today are being considered as the bare minimum. All right, let's get into it. About the bare minimum. And then I'm going to tell you what you should really be expecting. Bare minimum from a man is the bare minimum from any relationship. Kindness, thoughtfulness, attention, affection, respectfulness, listening to you, not talking over you, doing what they say they're going to do. Honesty, transparency, faithfulness, reciprocation, positive energy, sincerity, and an equal effort toward the things that you both have decided are important to you. Okay, so that's a laundry list. And I'll, I'll review that in a minute. But suffice to say, so this one's basically saying all the things that guys are trying to do to get to know women, you know what? That's just the bare minimum. That's that's just not, that's just not enough. Like you doing all the things she mentioned, you know what? That's just that's just not gonna do it. But here's the thing. Most women don't come across guys that do even a fraction of what she said. So again, I talked to women in their late 30s and 40s. I just wish a guy would just listen to me and just not judge me and blah, blah, Like their list is very, very low. But it could have been low this whole time, except they were in their heydays thinking, oh, I'm the ish. And so therefore, I'm going to ask for the world of guys. And I've seen shows of like, like I've seen the Steve Harvey show where like girls come in there and have like a whole like two screens worth of list of like, I need X, 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 X. And they're thinking, that's those are reasonable ask, right? But like dudes that can't even talk to them right or can't even treat them well, like most women can't even get that. And yet this woman's saying, but that's just, even if you do get that, guess what, ladies? Ta! That's just the bare minimum. That's not enough. So then what does she feel that a guy should get? Let's listen. Now, let's talk about what you should actually be expecting. That's just the bare minimum. What you should actually be expecting is not just this laundry list of bare minimum things. What I want you to start expecting is how you feel in a relationship. Here we go. So now she's basically telling women, you need to judge 
Like you need to judge these guys, not on their bare minimums, but what you're feeling. Because again, to be fair, women are about emotions and about feelings, but a lot of the stuff they're going to get a read on for you is going to be based on how well you're doing things in the bare minimum list. Get past the list and start thinking about how you actually feel in your life being in this relationship. You feel inspired. You feel like a better person, like you can conquer the world, understood. So she's saying it's your job as the guy to make her feel these things in order for her to recognize you're doing more than just the bare minimum, all right? So let's just play devil's advocate. Let's say she's absolutely right. How soon is that supposed to happen? Like at what point in the dating process are you as a guy supposed to make her feel inspired and feel like you're the most different guy ever? The reality is that's not gonna come in after one or two dates or three dates or four dates. Women on average take two to three months to solidify their feelings. And that's the time frame that they're going to need to start seeing how you're different from the other two or three other guys she's potentially dating. What this woman is saying is, again, and I, I say this because, you know, it's not that what she's saying is the worst thing in the world. It's just, again, because women don't give timelines for this thing, you as a guy are going to hear this and think, okay, so I need to make a woman feel all these things from date one. But women are not expecting on date one subconsciously at least, for you to do all these things because you as a guy are going to hear this and think, okay, I got to go on a date and I got to start talking about how pretty she is and how she could do anything and she's the best girl in the world. And that's going to come off across as disingenuous to her. It's going to make her feel as though you're saying it, particularly to try to get her in bed, which is going to make her trust you a lot less. And then she's going to head for the hills. Like you can share your most vulnerable thoughts and feelings and they will never leave that person's mouth again. Do you feel like you can say anything to them and share anything with them in confidence and they will never use it against you? And again, even something like that, that takes really like three or four months of good dating and then probably like two months of being in a relationship before they'll start really telling you stuff. Like I've had women I dated who took a couple of years before they told me like some some really some really dark secret that's important to them to get out that they didn't know how I was gonna take it for like a year and a half to two years. And you know what? I do not fault them for that because I don't expect them to tell me that. Now, imagine if I was on like date one. So, you know, tell me about your deepest, darkest secrets and tell me about all your traumas because hey, I don't want you to give me the bare minimum. You need to tell, trust me right now and tell me. Like that would be a ridiculous request. So for her to be like, you know, they, you need to be able to know you can talk to her. Like, like that's totally fine in a relationship, but women are expecting this of men early on and that's not fair to you guys. So I don't want you to think that you need to be like giving up all your secrets or thinking that it's fine if for two months for her to come to you with all, you could be like, hey, you know what? It's only two months in like, don't tell me no deep stuff yet. Wait till we get in it a little bit more. Like that's that's a fine boundary to set. Do you feel like every day with them is a gift? And that might oh sound God. a little silly because you're not always going to agree. Sometimes you might even really disagree with each other. But if you really had to think about it, is your life better off with them than it would be without them? Do you ultimately feel incredibly blessed to have them in your life? Okay, another counterpoint, right? Again, we're going to go with like what she's saying is absolutely true. You need to be the guy that she feels blessed and incredible to have in her life. Here's the question. How does she get that feeling from you? Does she get that feeling by you being honest, by you being faithful, by you listening to her, by you being attentive to her? Oh, but wait, that's the bare minimum. So if you're doing those things, it's actually bad because it's not enough. But in order for her to feel as though you're the best guy she's ever dated, you have to also do those things. It's quite the conundrum. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.